it is officially nine o'clock on the dot and dropped all three girls off and typically when i get back home i like to go ahead and freshen up my face because i have clients right after i drop the girls off so i have about 30 minutes to kind of get my life together and so i like to just go in with a minimalistic look y'all know i don't like to do too much during the week but i do like to have my face spruced up and that is why i love using merit and i want to say thank you so much to merit for sponsoring this a portion of today's video y'all y'all know i love merit I've been partnering with them for quite some time. I love the fact that all of their makeup gives that minimalistic look. Um, so today, you guys, I'm going to be showing you the brow duo. Y'all, Merit did not disappoint. They definitely showed out. Two things that I love about Merit. One, any order $40 or more, you get free shipping, which is totally awesome. Another cool thing you guys is with Merit, you get their signature brown bag for free with your first purchase. So that way you can store all of your Merit product. y'all so brows are done if you guys are loving this brow duo like i am and then definitely use the link here to go ahead and secure yours i will also have this linked in my description box as well thank you so much merit for sponsoring this portion of today's video so it is 9 20. i have my first client of the day in like eight minutes and so I am downstairs in my cloffis, um, just getting prepared for the day. Um, since today is Monday, I pick up the girls today. Um, so yeah, so my days on Mondays are typically a little topsy turvy. While I'm sitting here waiting, I'm just eating some banana. Um, that one, I at least have something on my stomach because I haven't eaten yet um and it, it at least like tie me over until after i finish with this meeting and so i'm going to go ahead and sign in i have a meeting at 9 30 to 10 15 and then i have one at 11 to 11 45 and then i have a meeting from 12 15 to 1 and then I have a meeting from 2 to 2.45. And then I have a meeting at 4.30. That's going to be pushing it with trying to leave the house at 2.45 to go get the girls. Because typically my meetings sometimes go over and I don't want to have to rush. And so I'm going to leave the house about 1.15. So that way I can go ahead and get in the line at Leah's school and be there to take my 2 to 2.45 meeting and then I can finish whatever I need to finish and then be able to pick them up. I'm going to see if I'm going to have enough time to pick up Nora because I can't pick up Nora while I'm on a call because she just does too much in the back seat. It's easier with a Carmen and Leah and so what I may do is go ahead pick them up go to the ATM because I need to pay daycare and then sit in the parking lot at the bank do my meeting then go pick up Nora and that way I can be back home by like 5 30 not cooking tonight I don't think um but I might just it all depends I may fix dinner I don't know um but yeah that's what we have planned work wise and in between that we're gonna try and get our household stuff done too well, that one is a non-event and we still have a clean house before the kids come home so. all right y'all so it is 9 34 my client still has not shown up um we have to wait until about five minutes to give them a call and so i'm gonna give them a call in a minute 
I know this sounds bad, but I hope he cancels because who wouldn't like an extended Monday morning? I know I would. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give him a call in a minute, literally, and see if he's going to be able to join. If not, we will go ahead and mark him as canceled and then we will move on about our day because guess what? There's things I could be doing, okay? Y'all, they canceled, they canceled, they canceled. Now I get a little bit of an extra break. I can go fix me something to eat because I'm hungry. That little banana ain't do nothing but make me mad. You hear me? So let me reschedule them to next Monday. It is 10, 10.53. I just finished cleaning the kitchen and the den and I swept. Um, I'm finally eating me something. Mm. These are the breakfast bowls that I made. Y'all, they're so good. So I'm getting ready to log into this meeting. I'm hoping she doesn't show up too. I know that sounds bad, but if she doesn't, that would be absolutely great. Because then I can go upstairs and fold clothes. So yeah, it's 10.57, meeting is at 11, and my client is getting ready to join. Bruh. I was really hoping that they didn't but I guess it's okay I guess I gotta do some work huh all right y'all so just finished my call and guess what guess what boys and girls um my client canceled at two
even though my client showed up at 11, my two o'clock canceled. So I get to stay here for a little bit longer and I don't have to rush to go pick up the girls, which is great. So I'm going to spend some time getting a little bit of work done. Also spend some time doing the laundry. Um, so yeah, my client's super cool. She's already established. I'm going to go ahead and finish eating my breakfast because it is still warm. Um, she's already established, which is great. So I don't have to do that much. I'm just going to spend some time working on some stuff, which is great. So all in all, this Monday is amazing. And, um... I get a little bit of a break. I told y'all my two o'clock call canceled. I went ahead and got um, a storage organizer for Nora's room because it was 20% off. So I went ahead and got that and I just picked it up. And now I am going to go pick up Nora. And then after I pick up Nora, then I'm gonna go get Leah and then I'm gonna get Carmen. And then I'm gonna go home and um, take my 4.30 call. So yeah, so just wanted to come to y'all, tell y'all what's going on, give y'all a little update. Um, so yeah, so I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, y'all, I got Nora in the car. Say hey, Nora. Hi. Um, got her her little snacky. Thank you. You're welcome. And I got Nora some juice. You got it? Okay. What? Uh, daddy. Oh, really? All right, so it's 2.33. <laughs> it's going to take me about 20 minutes to get to Leah's school. Yeah. So, let's get the show on the road. Uh -huh. All right, you guys. So, it is 6.09. I just finished with work. Um, Picked up the girls and was home by 3.59. Had my call at 4.30. We caught up on some work done so now i'm getting ready to go fix me some dinner um which you guys will see and probably fix some dessert and yeah and then we're gonna go fold up some clothes and get ready for the next day so yeah see you in the next clip my other tripod but this is the seasoning that i was talking about the Kinder's um, Buttery Burger Blend. Y'all, it smells good. So I'm just going to incorporate this in here. I'm going to get both sides. I'm going to give that. And then also I'm going to go in with some meat tenderizer. So I'm going to just sprinkle some in here. It smells really good. And then also... Worcestershire sauce. And then I'm going to go in with some onion, minced onion. Where is it? All right. I got my minced onion. it smells really really good and then I'm gonna go in with some black pepper all right and we'll just give this a mix Oh, that smells good. You'll see. All 
Hey, pretty girl. Mm. Nuh-uh. Leah's here, y'all. She don't want y'all to see her because she got her bonnet on. No, I don't got my glasses on. Oh, she said she ain't got her glasses on. Oh, yeah. This smells good. And then I'm going to take these and make them into some balls. And then we are going to smash these. Hence, smash burgers. We're going to smash these on the griddle. So, yeah. We're going to make them about bun size. But that's what we're looking like. And I'm just using two packs of ground chuck. This should be enough for us for tonight and then the girls for lunch tomorrow. with the smash burgers and I was craving something sweet um Leah wanted a banana pudding but if you know me know me then you know I don't like a fruit in my desserts and I definitely don't like bananas in my banana pudding and so I made a banana pudding for Leah and then a bananaless banana pudding for me Nora and Carmen and Joe doesn't eat banana pudding so it's just gonna be for us and this will serve as a lunchtime treat for the girls as well in their lunch box and so I am just preparing this and I will have the recipe in the description box below so that way you guys can try it for your next gathering or if you just want a little dessert that isn't as filling but definitely knocks the edge off your sweet tooth. Uh -huh. 
Well, y'all have been with me for a full 12 hours. And as you can see, I have literally gotten everything done. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. But that is going to be it for this video. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you never miss and upload you guys and until next time you guys i will see you on the next one and talk to you soon bye